hey guys a very good evening so i had taken out a poll uh, quite a long time back and i got a lot of votes on how to write review articles right uh, many of you are planning to do phd abroad and for that you need either a research article or a review article now research article of course depends upon how much time um, how, like what kind of work you have done in the lab and all of that sort but for review article um, you know you can uh, practice or you can you know write a review article being at home especially in current circumstances where many many of you are not able to go to the lab i think that is one of the best bet to write a review article now i have divided this video into multiple sections depending on what i am talking about so you can jump on to the relevant section um which suits you or which kind of like you want to prioritize okay now uh coming to the review article first of all the first question that would come to your mind is on what topics do we write review articles or how do you identify on what topics we can write review articles okay so the first thing is um that you need to understand that review articles uh are written about topics which are either uh, you know you can say are too vast and you need to summarize the information on that particular topic or you want to get the interest interest of researchers on a topic which is neglected okay like these are the two basic purposes of a review article there might be more but these are the two main or two basic purposes to summarize if there's a lot of information on one particular topic or you want to you know like i said um generate interest on one particular topic which has been neglected right now the second uh, the second uh, kind of review article is something which can you know be a really good thing for your uh, for your research career and for you as well it will get, get you a lot of confidence because see when you are summarizing information when a lot of information is available already there's a, a particular topic which is very popular okay be it any topic from organic in organic or physical chemistry you are just summarizing the information um you are not intellectually i would say putting a lot of thought because you are just summarizing the information you might summarize it you might make some elegant diagrams or elegant flow charts or something and it might look a really like a really good review article and that's good but in the end you are just summarizing but when you try and bring attention to a topic which has been neglected you know and you you kind of like think about it how you will get attention how you will get your attention of the researchers and uh, why it has been neglected so there are a lot of why's that you need to answer in that review article that why this topic has been neglected and why it is important that the scientific community should focus on this topic right so those kind of review articles are really challenging um and you know they might get rejected by a lot of journals you know but in the end you will be very satisfied with such review articles and those i i believe are review articles that are worth considering though summarizing is also good because see in the end it's a review article and a review article is considered as a research article i mean you are not doing anything uh, research like you are not not doing anything you are not giving new inputs in terms of the research but a review article in general is considered as a research article only okay you have not done research but it's considered as a research article because you get the hang of writing a scientific article because if you talk about a general essay that you write you know in class 12th or in your bachelor's or your master's it's not like that a scientific article is written in a totally different manner right so you get an idea of how to write a review article that is very very uh, how to write a research article through a review article which is very important anyway so um, so that is about the the basic idea okay now talking about uh, um what topic you need to choose okay so first of all you need to identify that that particular topic has not been covered in the last let's say one or two years okay there should not be any recent review article on the topic you have you are deciding on let's say um you want to write on you know since i have done my phd in medicinal chemistry um so um let's say you want to write a you know review article on some molecules like the most common review articles which i personally do not admire is that when there is a structure okay and they will say okay uh, what is the uh, you can say biological activity of that structure okay or what are uh, like for example indole molecule is there right so what is the um, biological relevance of indole molecule or what kind of indole based uh, medicinal compounds are known for let's say diabetic for anti diabetic Uh, you know therapeutics or anti cancer therapeutics okay so uh, those kind of review articles so whatever molecules have been reported um, as anti cancer agents okay with the indole structure you just need to summarize it and you need to talk about it right so those are one one sort of like one kind of review article so you need to make sure if you want to write such a review article that for that particular structure okay there should not be any recent review article um on 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 anti cancer compounds right so that is one thing that there should not be any recent review article on that topic the second is um that uh, um 
even if there is a recent article let's say that topic is very popular okay so let's say every 2 years there are close to 100 articles that are published on the topic that you want to write a review article on then of course what you can do is you can write a article like for example you are reviewing from the year 2018 to 2020 you will see some review articles on very popular topics so let's say there's a review article in 2018 but after 2018 there has been in 2 years lot of research has been done so you can write an updated review on so and so topic um from 2018 to 2020 in the title of the review article only you can mention that right uh, so that is like for popular topics you can do that as well but let's say if there's a topic which is not very popular in 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 the sense like not a lot of research articles have been published in last 3 4 years and there's a review already available so until and unless you are bringing in a fresh perspective to the review it 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 won't make a difference okay and what i mean by fresh perspective is for example one of my review articles that i wrote um which went into you know fortunately into a good journal um uh, so i wrote the review article on a on my on on a topic that i was working in my phd on right and uh, for that topic uh, or for that particular um protein okay i was working on a protein called galactin and for that particular protein there are a lot of um, you know um, review articles available but they are available for carbohydrate based inhibitors and what i wrote uh, the review article was on non carbohydrate inhibitors okay so so that that is some fresh perspective that i was bringing that everybody was writing review articles on galactins but they were on carbohydrate based inhibitors i wrote a review article on non carbohydrate based inhibitors so that is a fresh perspective or for fresh interest that i was bringing um you know my the attention on because nobody was fake, uh, focusing on non carbohydrate inhibitors so i wanted the scientific community or the people you know working on galactins to focus on non carbohydrate inhibitors so that's why i wrote that review article so um, according to me i found it very interesting when i uh, wrote that review article right and then there are review articles on patents also so if you are working on a topic on which a lot of patents are there you can write a patent review article also like whatever patents are there you summarize all the patents available on that topic so there are many uh, many ways that you can write a review article okay there is there is no dearth you just need to identify a topic on which a very recent review article should not be there now the second important perspective is how popular is your supervisor okay of course you will be writing it in affiliation with some you, you see a uh, writing individual review articles is very difficult like if you are not affiliated to anyone uh, any university so to say and your supervisor is none of your professors or your supervisor is there to write a review article with it becomes extremely difficult because as a master's a, a master's student or as a phd student not even as a phd student if you are a phd student you will have a supervisor but let's say you are a master's student or you are a student who has passed out of masters and wants to write a independent review it is very difficult to get it published okay because um you don't have any credibility if you are not affiliated to any institute so that, that it is very difficult so in this case you need to have a supervisor now it is also important that the topic you are choosing to write a review article on um either your supervisor should be very popular on in on that topic if you want to publish it in very high impact journals okay for example in chemistry if i talk about there are journals like chemical reviews um chemsoc reviews accounts of chemical research so for that you need your supervisor has to have a lot of experience and mostly these journals um send in invitations okay they don't accept review articles like that uh, only when they invite a particular professor to write uh, a review article or a particular scientist to write a review article then only they go ahead and write it okay so i mean targeting these journals would not be uh, a good idea now if you want to target some medium journals okay so for medium journals also at least your supervisor um, or the professor whom you are writing with has to have certain experience in the field okay it's very difficult to write a review article in the field where neither your supervisor nor you have any experience okay i mean see from a very logical or rational point of view you can obviously summarize the information that is available on any topic right but then you cannot bring in insights and a good review article is one wherein you bring your own insights also so it's not like okay this all information is available on the topic so you summarize all the information and then just dump it out on a piece of paper that's not what a review article is many of you think that way or many i've seen many review articles written in that way wherein you just summarize all the information and just dump it out on a piece of paper but that's not how a good elegant review article is written you need to bring in some controversy and don't take the controversy as a negative term controversy as in you just put out an open ended question that this is the information what are the future perspectives 
what what do you believe what is your opinion you should in in the conclusion section of a review article you should always you know uh, build on to something that this is the research that has been done this is the contradictory contradictory research so you know you should always uh, keep the keep the viewer who whoever is reading your review article you should always keep them on the edge that this is such an interesting topic these are the perspectives um that have been um you know uh, that have been proven from one side but these are the things that have not been proven so this is the future of this particular topic so whatever is your opinion whatever is your perspective that should be um you know conveyed to the uh, to the viewer that is very important um, when it comes to a review article anyway since i was talking about um, you know you should always try and write a review article on a topic on in which your supervisor has experience um only then you can target um you know medium journals um if none of you have experience neither your supervisor has experience nor you have experience on that topic um experience by experience i mean you should have some research articles published on that topic so if you don't have that um in that case um what you need to do is you have to target um uh, low impact journals okay because only low impact journals generally would accept a uh, review articles on topics where uh, those um, you know researchers are writing which do not have experience on that topic okay so that can only be done by uh, low impact journals um the third thing that i want to tell uh, which is a very uh, nice option is that whenever you want to submit a review article before even starting off writing a review article if you feel um that you need to see whether that topic would be relevant or not you can always write to the editor of the journal so whenever you go to a home page of a journal um there's always an um, you know if you go to the ed- ed- editorial board there are number of names in the editorial board so you can always write a email to the editor in chief um saying that um that we want to submit a review article on this particular topic and we just wanted to know whether it would be relevant to the journal or not okay so generally the editor in chief will reply saying that whether they feel that the topic is of interest to the journal or not so that is a really good way to actually write a review article uh, to know whether your topic is relevant or not right so this is something that you should uh, definitely do or consider before writing a review article always write to the editor in chief of the journal you are planning to target even before starting off with the review just a brief proposal of what kind of review article you want to write on and on what topic so that is something that i feel is very very important um apart from that um i would just like to say that you know the ma- the major uh, you can say a uh, problem area is when the editor itself rejects it right uh, because generally that's the problem with review articles if the review articles in general go under peer review and if you have written them in you know um uh, written them well and your english has is if if not excellent it's it's decent english you have written in decent english grammatically it's it's fine in most of the times and if if the review article is comprehensive major majority of times it will be accepted once it goes under review under peer review right but the hurdle is when the editor itself rejects it that's why it is important that if you convey it to the editor beforehand only before submitting and the editor accepts it then you know for sure that it is going to go under review so the chances of rejection of your review article are very very less otherwise you know um you submit to one journal uh, then they reject it then you set it in another template it gets really really, really frustrating so it's better just to write a, a email to the editor in chief and ask whether the, this particular topic would be relevant to their journal or not right so so that is something that will save up your time now of course see this is a very general um you know video that i have made on how to write a review article um if you have more specific questions and you want to ask me i would be doing a live video on an academy okay it's it's absolutely free of course you don't have to pay any money but you can of course ask me your questions live so i will give you the link to that video down in the description box and i would be doing that video on a tuesday that is either either this tuesday like the coming tuesday or coming thursday and the link will be down in the description box okay so you can click on that and you can enroll it's absolutely free of cost you just need to um when you are down, when you download the unacademy app you just need to type sethi sethi okay so that will just unlock and you can start watching my uh, session okay it's it's going to be a live session so whatever specific questions you have um regarding some topic that you are deciding you can ask me then and there okay So anyway I hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I make thank you for watching i will see you in the next video Hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy 
and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is SETHI once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right